So continuing on with our uh, repair lessons, we're going to grab image B from our repair lessons folder, from our lesson files folder. And we're going to drop him here into Photoshop. Now this is a picture I grabbed from the internet. I don't know this guy. Um, but what we're going to do with him here is uh, clean up some of the, the wrinkles around his eyes and on his forehead. Now it would look unnatural for us to smooth this out too much. So with that in mind for the future of our project here, I'm going to make a copy by dragging the layer, the background layer, to the new layer icon. And I'm going to do all my edits here on the copy. And we're going to look at a few different tools for uh, cleaning this, uh, this up. The first one that we're going to look at is the healing brush tool. And what the healing brush tool does is it's kind of like the clone stamp in that I hold down Alt and click on a clean space and then I just paint over things that need to be fixed and when I let go it smooths it out. Kind of a work of magic here. Now I don't want to try and do this whole wrinkle across his forehead all at the same time so I'm going to do this just like the clone stamp in small areas. Okay, I'm going to do kind of across the highlight with one swipe, across the shadow on either side with another swipe, probably two with this little bit longer one. <clears throat> okay, so that is um, the healing brush tool. Also with the healing brush tool is the patch tool. And I actually kind of like this one a little bit more. Uh, the patch tool is sort of like a selection tool. So when I select something, um, I get the, the dancing ants. And I can then take that selection, you see where my tool is in the middle of the selection, and drag it to a clean area. It snaps back and cleans up that space. So I can use that then to clean up underneath his eyes and around his eyes. Now I don't want to overdo this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and overdo this to show you as an example. don't want to overdo this too much. I could very easily eliminate this lower eyelid altogether. But I think that would be an unnatural sign that I've done too much Photoshop work on this guy. So I'm going to continue on with this patch tool on a couple other parts of his face. Continuing on to select it. Now if you like um, if you like this healing brush that I showed you before, feel free to continue using that one. But I like the patch tool the best for right now for this job. So I'm continuing on with um, the patch tool. Oops. Okay. And again, I'm not getting rid of his lower eyelid altogether. That would look odd or unnatural. So I can continue on doing this. I could uh, maybe work on um, cleaning up his, um, his whiskers here. We could also even clean up some of these lines uh, because he's, you know, turning his neck here. Um, but I just want to focus here on the eyes. Looks pretty good um, so far, but, you know, he is uh, a particular age where he would be expected to have um, some facial features. So if it's too smooth, it looks a little bit out of place. So to bring back some of those original wrinkles and things, just softly and subtly, we're going to take the opacity of this top layer and just nudge it down a little bit, okay? And it's up to you, it's up to your taste of, of how that looks and where that's going to look best. But here's your before, very prominent um, crow's feet and, uh, and dark underneath the eyes. And then here's your after where much of that is cleaned up. That's using your patch tool and your healing brush tool.